Good morning. Facebook and Instagram. It is day 27. Day 27. Tomorrow makes four weeks. I am so excited. I don't think you guys understand that for me it's major because I am being consistent about something for longer than three to four days. So for me, that is epic, that is everything, and I am beyond excited. I need to twist out my hair again so it can have the big look. Maybe I'll do that um, over the week. Or we'll see, because Monday is Detox the Hair, so Doriel and I are going to do a live stream, so we'll see what that live stream consists of. So what I will tell you is to be sure that you be square, be there or be square, be there or be square, not be square, be there. So guys, I have another little tidbit that I want to share with you guys on. Good morning, Doriel, that I want to share with you guys on um, live stream today. I was going to do my little dry brushing after the um, live stream, but I decided why not do part of it on live stream. You can see how it gets done. You can buy your materials. I can tell you the do's and don'ts, and then you could go about your beautiful day, and at some point, maybe this weekend, you could treat yourself to dry brushing. So instead of doing it off, I'll do it on screen with my arms, and then after my live stream, I'll hit up my legs, my back, and the rest of my body. So that's what I'm going to go over today on live stream. But before that, I am going to start with the, the claws drink. And with me, I'll make my little um, parasite drink. Where's my knife? Okay, so with the claws drink... I need to add a little bit more water on here. Good morning. And if you're just joining, I just said that I'm gonna be doing a little demo on dry brushing. So if you don't have to rush to work, stay tuned or definitely watch on the replay. So I got my water, cayenne pepper for circulation, making this for my daughter. So excited that they're still on board with their detox drink. And I'm getting great feedback lemon for exfoliation half a lemon i'm getting great feedback from people that are doing the detox drink i had a friend tell me yesterday that she's been doing it for two weeks and i didn't know and with her her only symptom was breaking out and to her she thought oh my gosh why am all of a sudden am i breaking out because she her face is usually um one second she she doesn't have problems with her skin, so she was wondering why she was breaking out. And then she remembered me saying on the live stream that the detox for some people will purge through their skin and cause them to have, you know, breakouts, but then it'll clear up. So again, half a lemon for exfoliation. So I'm excited that um, this drink is taking on and I'm excited that women are wanting to do a little something every day to benefit their mind, body, skin, and hair. I tell you, I need to get one of those, hey, I need to get one of those um, lemon squeezers. Doing four drinks per day is starting to become a little annoying trying to squeeze this, so I need to get one. This is for my parasite cleanse. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna focus on just making my parasite cleanse and one drink. I could do my other daughter's drink after the live stream, so you guys are not watching the whole process. Um, yeah, so it's it's a blessing. Cayenne pepper for circulation. L for lemon exfoliation. Half a lemon. A for apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon. Like I said, it's very exciting that people are doing this for their own reason and benefits, and they're feeling good. At the end of the day, I love that people are feeling good about their health, and that's what matters the most. 
Remember, you always want to drink this 30 minutes before brushing your teeth. And for me, I have to take my apple cider vinegar on the side because it really irritates my teeth. So this is my shot of apple cider vinegar. Guys, never, never, never take apple cider vinegar straight. Please, never take apple cider vinegar straight. If you notice, I put one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and the rest was water. So let me get this out the way. And with me, because it irritates my teeth, I just drop it in my throat and then it doesn't bother me. So A for apple cider vinegar, and that helps to um, stimulate. W for water. Of course, I'm gonna add more water for myself. This is my daughter's. Let me go ahead and add it now. The next one is S for sweet sensation. So remember the acronym is C-L-A-W-S-E, CLAWS. Once you remember claws, it'll be easy to make the drink. C for kind pepper, L for lemon, A for apple cider vinegar, W for water, S for sweetener, which can be pure, raw, honey, or agave, and then S for, E for extra virgin olive oil. For me, I'm not putting the honey in my parasite cleanse because I don't need to be feeding the parasites any type of sugar, which I need to be more focused on my cleanse to really purge out my system. But you know what? Everything is in baby steps. Hey, Esther, everything is in baby steps. So I'm just taking my steps little by little. So one tablespoon of honey or agave, and that helps to kind of give this sweetener a little, a better taste. And then E for extra virgin olive oil, organic. You wanna be sure it's organic. Cold press is the best. One tablespoon. And for myself, for my parasite cleanse, I will put about a tablespoon. And then now, this is what the claws drink looks like by itself. Now for me, I did cayenne pepper, lemon, I drank the apple cider vinegar already, water, extra virgin olive oil, di diatomaceous earth, which helps to kind of grab the, the, the parasites and bring them down, and any other toxins, so I do a quarter of a tablespoon. Remember, always be sure it's food grade and then say no to parasites. Give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna read your comments on. Awesome, Esther, don't watch while you're driving. Listen to me and then go back, go back and watch the replay. So don't watch while you're driving, please. You're probably not, but you know, just in case. And then I'm gonna, for me, I'm gonna add a quarter of a tablespoon of turmeric. I love to add turmeric to mine because of the anti-inflammatory um, properties. What's the name? My YouTube channel is Donata Skin Food. And for Facebook, you'll actually be able to watch the replay. Once I'm done, I post it to my Facebook. Oh, you're on the bus. Okay, good, good. Then go ahead. Watch away. So for me, this is my drink. Again, for my par parasite cleanse, now this is a mini parasite cleanse. I'm going to do a real parasite cleanse while I order the package from um, this young lady that's been teaching people about parasites cleanse for now until I order her stuff. This is helping me. Now what I don't know is if this drink is killing dead parasites and the eggs. I know it's killing the live ones because I see it in my stool, but I don't know if it's killing um, the dormant ones is what I meant to say. The dormant ones and the eggs. Because if you're going to take the time to do a parasite cleanse, make sure all those suckers are gone or majority of them. You can't completely get rid of parasites 100%. You, you, you need a little bit in your body to kind of balance it out. But I need to get rid of majority of them. And I'm going to say 
for as long as I've been doing this drink, I have been feeling amazing. So whatever your issue is, even if you don't have an issue, do the cleanse because every year, at least minimum once a year, you should cleanse your system. You know, there's, there's um, the kind of foods that we eat are not always healthy. So it would be good to cleanse your body. Hello, if I have blemishes on my body, is it best to use your turmeric soap or pine tar soap? For blemishes on your body, you wanna use turmeric soap and you wanna use the scar butter. And I don't know if you saw the post I posted yesterday of a young lady that has leech and planus. Leech and planus is something that's very hard to get rid of. And nine times out of 10, the doctors are saying to let it go away on its own, which can take years. And this young lady came to me and she said, hey, I have leech and planus. I never knew what that was. She has it all over her body except her face. So just imagine your whole body is covered in dark spots. And this must have been a year and a half ago. I gave her my scar burner and I said, hey, listen, I don't know about your condition. I never researched it, but try this. And she tried the scar butter and kept trying the scar butter. And over time, her dark marks started to change to brown marks. And for her, she doesn't care that it's gone completely. She's just happy. She doesn't have dark marks all over her body. And I'm excited for her. So she was focused on her arms. Now she's going to re-up on her products. She used the pine tar soap and the scar butter. She's going to re-up on her products and then start focusing on her legs. So I'm excited. Definitely you want to try that. You could try the turmeric soap. The pine tar soap is very good too, but um, there's some properties in the turmeric soap that's really good that I've, I've heard are good for the ben, uh, blemishes. So you could do the turmeric soap and scar butter. Eat to live, drink to live, say no to parasites. Exactly. Okay, so guys, my drink is done. Name of the thing to grab the parasites. Okay. Diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous, D I A T O M A C E O U S E. Diatomaceous earth. This is very cleansing for the body. You want to be sure when you're taking it out of the bag that you're not inhaling the dust from there. So be very mindful. Any type of clays, you don't want to be inhaling the dust too much. Just take a little bit, drop it in your drink, and that helps with the parasites. So guys, now that I have the drinks out of the way, I will go ahead and drink mine offline. But let me go ahead and show you a little bit about dry brushing. Now, if you got to watch my live stream on detoxing the skin on Monday, I went in further detail about dry brushing, which is amazing for exfoliating the skin, bringing your skin, the blood to the circulation of your skin, um, toning your skin, toning your muscles. So you have, you're, you're just having all this blood flowing through your body, which it should, because a lot of people, the blood becomes stagnant, their energy becomes stagnant in their body, so things don't flow as they should. So this is a very simple thing you could do at home. You can do it every day if you like. Um, as a matter of fact, if you do it consistently, consistently, you find more results. But I did it um, the other day after the live stream and it felt amazing. I just wanna show you something real quick. Give me one second. Okay, well, what I wanted to show you is probably not going to be visible on Instagram, but my son dry brushed the other day, and by the time he finished dry brushing, his brush looked very used, and that just goes to show me that he was um, doing it too hard. So be mindful. You want to be gentle, and you want to go in a circular motion. So here's what you need to do. You dry brush first. You put sesame oil on your body after. You leave the oil on your body and then you take a shower five minutes later. So what the oil does, your pores are open so the oils go in and pull out the toxins. So when you take a shower, you don't necessarily need to wash the oil off. Let the oil stay on your body because it, it uh, sesame oil, oil absorbs into your skin. It doesn't have that shine and extra oil feeling. 
So let it absorb into your body and just use a cleansing soap to wash the necessary part under your arms, your lotus flower, and, and what's connected to that. So this is how you dry brush. I already have my oil ready. I'm just gonna do my arms. And you wanna be sure your oil is warm. It's even better when it's warm. So you start at your fingertips and you go in a circular motion. And then I'm just gonna do one arm because you guys will get the point after that. And you can make it a really spa type um, experience. Put on a candle, dim your lights if you want to, listen to soft music, and just take some time to pamper your body. So you, it, I'm going a little fast, but you could go slower. Whatever fast or slow you go, you're still getting the action that you need, circular motion to exfoliate your skin. Um, what I would recommend and I knew that before I brought this brush, but I went ahead and brought it anyway because Walmart didn't have the ones with the, with the arm. But you wanna get this, and you wanna get the one on the stick because the one on the stick helps you to get your back area. So the proper way to dry brush is you go up both arms, you stop, you go up your legs, so you start at your toes and go up your legs. Then you go to your rear. Let me make sure Facebook can see me too. Then you go to your rear and start from your buttocks up your back. That's why you need that little handle because it was really hard for me to get up my back. And then you go to your stomach. You end on your stomach. And with your stomach, so let's say I did this, this already. I did my feet, I went up my feet. I went, took my butt, I went up my butt, went up my back. Then you come down because whatever you do, the purpose is you want to bring the blood flow to your heart. So if you notice, everything is going towards your heart. Feet to your heart, um, buttocks to your heart. You know, it's going up. So with your stomach, you end at your stomach, but you want to be sure that you're going in a counter or counterclockwise motion. Not clockwise, but counterclockwise motion. So you end at your stomach. So, okay, let's say I finished dry brushing my whole body. So you take the oil. You start from your hand. Now, what I can tell you, in the stores... Nine times out of 10, the sesame seed oil is toasted. <sighs> that smell is disgusting, it's really strong. So if you want to order online, order regular sesame seed oil and make sure it's not toasted. Cause that, like the toasted smell doesn't bother me, but it bothers my kids. So like for my son, my son is very into taking care of his skin, his body and his hair, but his face he always tends to forget. So for him, this smell is really strong, so I'm gonna buy one that doesn't have the toasted smell. So this is what it looks like. This is what I'm using right now. But I'm gonna be, see how it says toasted up here? It says toasted. Be sure you get one that's not toasted. And be sure the oil is warmed up. After dry brushing, you put it all over your body. You let it sit for five minutes. And then you take a nice warm, not hot. You don't want to do all the benefits you just did. A nice warm shower. And then um, you put some body oil. You could, I know, I'm sorry, babe. I was just saying how you don't like the smell of it. You put some of my lavender body oil if you're going to bed, which makes you really nice and relaxing. Or you can use the lemongrass body oil. If you're doing this before work, it makes you, um, it rejuvenates you. It gives you a pick you, it picks you up before work. And you do this constantly, maybe for one to two weeks every day, you're gonna see your skin start to change and it's gonna become more soft. But most importantly, you're activating the, your circular system. 
So you're helping blood to flow through your system. You're helping your toxins to flow through your system. This is a way to detox your body too because you're activating your lymphatic, your lymphatic system. And your lymphatic system is where all the toxins are hanging out. So if your lymphatic system is slow and it's not pushing the toxins through your body, guess what? The toxins are not coming out. They're hanging out all in your body, a lot of times around your stomach area, and you wanna push those out. So definitely you wanna get yourself a dry brush, some sesame seed oil, and do this when you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up so I can go ahead and finish pampering myself before my event today. Just a few church announcements out the way. Monday, we have Detox the Hair, part one. Detox the Hair, part two, will be May 21st. Both are 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then you can always watch my YouTube channels to see all my detox videos for the past, today's 27 days. So you'll be able to watch all the videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that um, you can get the emails when things are being posted out. Okay guys, hopefully this was a nugget that you can take along and, and implement it yourself. Don't forget, always feed your skin from the inside out. Bye guys.